right, so I have two. Should I do them both now? Is that the plan? Yep. Hmm? You put it in there twice? It's in there twice? So I'll just do one. And then I'll be called again, and then I can do the other one. All right, so this is a poem that uh, Abby introduced, introduced me to years ago. It's one of her favorite poems. It's called A True Account of Talking to the Sun on Fire Island by Frank O'Hara. The sun woke me this morning loud and clear saying, hey, I've been trying to wake you up for 15 minutes. Don't be so rude. You're only the second poet I've ever chosen to speak to personally. So why aren't you more attentive? If I could burn you through the window, I would to wake you up. I can't hang around here all day. Sorry, son, I stayed up late last night talking to Hal. When I woke up Mayakovsky, he was a lot more prompt, the son said petulantly. Most people are up already waiting to see if I'm going to put in an appearance. I tried to apologize. I missed you yesterday. That's better, he said. I didn't know you'd come out. You may be wondering why I'm come so close. Yes, I said, beginning to feel hot, wondering if maybe he wasn't burning me anyway. Frankly, I wanted to tell you, I like your poetry. I see a lot on my rounds, and you're okay. You may not be the greatest thing on earth, but you're different. Now, I've heard some say you're crazy, they being excessively calm themselves, to my mind, and other crazy poets think that you're a boring reactionary, not me. Just keep on like I do and pay no attention. You'll find that people always will complain about the atmosphere, either too hot, or too cold, too bright, too dark, days too long or too short. If you don't appear at all one day, they think you're lazy or dead. Just keep right on. I like it. And don't worry about your lineage, poetic or natural. The jungle, you know, uh, uh, the sun shines on the jungle, you know, on the tundra, the sea, the ghetto, wherever you were, I knew it and I saw you moving. I was waiting for you to get to work. And now that you're making your own day, so to speak, even if nobody reads you but me, you won't be depressed. Not everybody can look up, even at me. It hurts their eyes. Oh, son, I'm so grateful to you. Thanks. And remember, I'm watching. It's easier for me to speak to you out here. I don't have to slide down between buildings to get your ear. I know you love Manhattan, but you ought to look up more often. And always embrace things, people, earth, sky, stars, as I do, freely and with the appropriate sense of space. That is your inclination, known in the heavens, and you should follow it to hell, if necessary, which I doubt. Maybe we'll speak again in Africa, of which I, too, am specially fond. Go back to sleep now, Frank, and I may leave a tiny poem in that brain of yours as my farewell. Son, don't go. I was awake at last. No, I must. They're calling me. Who are they? Rising, he said. Someday you'll know. They're calling to you too. Darkly, he rose. And then I slept. <laughs>